Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Kazi here from Black Hat Comics in Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to get down to your local comic shop and pick up something fun to read. Uh, it's a big week, packed with exciting stuff. It's a huge week for the Marvel guys. Gonna start with my favorite guy, Captain America. This is Captain America Sam Wilson number eight. Uh, this is one of your Avengers standoff books this week. You can read more about this one in our newsletter. The cover there sort of spoils the end of number seven, but what the heck. That book's been really solid. And as I mentioned, New Avengers is your other Avengers standoff book for the week. And Captain America Road to War one shot rounds out your cap stuff. This one takes place in your Avengers movie universe. Fun stuff. Mighty Thor, one of the bigger books Marvel's got right now along with Totally Awesome Hulk. This one's been gaining a lot of momentum, so if it's been flying under your radar, you might want to grab this latest issue and see what all the hubbub's about. All new Hawkeye, Astonishing Ant-Man, Extraordinary X-Men, it's your only X book for the week. This continues your Apocalypse War stuff. Cool Colossus cover there. Big week for Deadpool. That's the main title, with the cover by my man Mike Allred, and Deadpool Mercs for Money. Spider-Man Deadpool's also out this week. Captain Marvel and Silk are your Women of Marvel books for the week, along with Mighty Thor, I guess. Silk is about your only spider book this week. Nova. Power Man and Iron Fist. New issue of Karnak by Warren Ellis, all-time great writer Warren Ellis. Uh, like most things from Ellis, this book's been running a little late, but always worth waiting for. We'll have more on Warren Ellis later. Uncanny Inhumans, your Inhumans book of the week. Guardians of Infinity, Hyperion, Howard the Duck. Told you it was a big Marvel week, like 20 or 22 books this week. And Obi-Wan and Anakin. Your Star Wars book of the week. Cool Vader cover there. Wraps up the Marvel guys. Big week for DC too. Big week for Superman. Superman American Alien number six. This book's been red hot. As a big Superman fan, it always makes me happy when his books are popular. But what I really want to get to are those John Romita Jr. covers. He's been doing the B covers of all the DC books this month. This is your JRJR action cover. Your John Romita Jr. Superman Lois and Clark book. Been talking a lot about this book uh, in preparation of the Rebirth stuff. You might want to check out what's been going on in Superman Lois and Clark. But there's other Romita covers like Wonder Woman or Aquaman. If you're an amazing Spider-Man fan from back in the day like I am, you're a huge John Romita Jr. fan. It's great to see him doing all this DC stuff like Martian Manhunter, or Robin, Son of Batman, or Titan's Hunt. Just got a really cool style. A little bit indicative of his father, of course, John Romita Sr. Everybody knows Romita Sr. Great stuff. But there's other stuff too. Harley Quinn, Harley's little black book, teaming up with another one of my favorite characters, Zatanna. Cool cover there. And there she is on the cover of Injustice your non-continuity DC book of the week. Flash number 50, double-sized extravaganza, DC's latest TV star. Dr. Fate, and speaking of TV stars, Legends of Tomorrow, sort of a double-sized conglomerate comic of all your Metamorpho, Firestorm, all the guys from the show. And Astro City is my DC Vertigo book of the week. And a big fan of Astro City for a long, long time. Like I always say, anything worth anything with an Alex Ross cover is worth the cover price. Great stuff. Good week for my friends at Dark Horse, BPRD. You know, I'm always talking up the Mike Mignola universe of Hellboy, BPRD, Abe Sapien, Lobster Johnson. Great stuff there. Buffy the Vampire Slayer is your Whedonverse book of the week. Great cover on that one. And Dark Horse Presents. 
Fantastic anthology title, always talking up Dark Horse Presents. If you don't know what to pick up this week, grab this one, because it's got short stories by some of the best talent in comics. Great stuff. Good week for the Image guys, too. This is your 10th anniversary special of Criminal. A little crime fiction noir book for you. Hard to believe it's been around 10 years. Invincible by a guy who does a book called Walking Dead. Maybe you've heard of it. And Tokyo Ghost. The other red hot image book of the week. And a great week for all the other guys, too. Big week for Dynamite. This is James Bond. This book's been insanely popular. I'm a big fan of a lot of things that Dynamite's doing right now. They do a great job with all their licensed stuff, like James Bond, like Twilight Zone. Dynamite's got all kinds of cool stuff. Check out that Francavilla cover, The Spirit. Good stuff. Back to the Future is my IDW book, speaking of licensed properties. And Divinity 2 is my Valiant book of the week. Always encouraging you guys to have a Valiant book on your list, like this one, like Bloodshot Reborn, that's also out this week. And it's a good week for kids' books, like Guardians of the Galaxy. Didn't know there was a Guardians of the Galaxy all-ages book, did you? Super fun. Or Teen Titans Go. Just as funny as 